with people being able to get Dominator United packs in their hands? This leads me to some questions. Hello there, everybody, and welcome on in. I'm 16-Bit Fair, and I hope you're having a great end of the amazing day. Today, I want to talk about card quality. So, we just had Dominator United pre-release. just happened last weekend, and it was... I had a lot of fun. Great time. First pre-release since War of the Spark. So happy to get back into just playing Magic instead of just collecting. Anyways, that's not what I want to talk about today. So because the pre-release happened, people were able to get booster boxes, set boxes, and collector boxes in their hands. You know, all the things that we want to see. You know, crack packs, have fun. And because collector booster packs had that chance, that rare chance, to pull Legends cards out of them, we finally got to see some of these cards for ourselves. So some of the cards I've seen some people crack open look pretty pristine, look really, really nice. But the one I want to put focus on to is one I happened to see on Twitter. So on Twitter happened to pull a Nickel Bolas out of a collector booster box. But it's either inked or molded. So let's take a look at the images, shall we? The first image is the front. Yeah, it, it does kind of look like some inking issues, but you know, that's to be expected for 94, right? But let's look at the back and oh no. Oh. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. That bottom left corner, that looks like mold. I think that is mold. So I get that these are found cases that were found in a warehouse that was in the coast pays on and stuff but why why this so we seen them crack packs we seen them do the whole thing for the whole pr stunt of them hyping up the collector booster boxes right and we see them wearing their little gloves and cracking open packs and showing some of the things but after seeing this card, it makes me be a little bit concerned with some of the quality of the cards that we are going to be getting. So it leads me to the question, is this going to be a common, uncommon, or a rare problem? See what I did there? Eh? Eh? Because you either get a common, uncommon, or a rare Legends card out of a booster box? Eh? Eh. Let's move on. So how common will we see this? And with this being... Eh, a not cheap card, how are the other higher dollar cards going to look? I mean, we know some people are really trying to chase for that Tabernacle. Tabernacle being one of the most expensive cards out of Legends. So what's their conditions going to look like? What's the conditions of All Hallows Eve's going to look like? Is this just a very rare fluke thing? And if it is a rare fluke, how did this pass quality control? Because this is the first set we have where they've fully introduced the price increase across the board. So with that in mind, they would need this to hit off on all cylinders. So could it have been something that just slipped through the quality control cracks? Could it just be something we see a lot more often, folks? I want to know what you think in the comments below. Please do let me know. I know I know this video is going to be a bit shorter than what we normally do, but I've got a bit of a busy week going on and we have a guide we're going to have out on this Friday. And yeah, I hope to see you all then, folks, and I will see you next time. As always, I am 16-Bit Ferret, and I hope you have a Duke Duke Day. This video is made possible by all these awesome people. 